I happen to think that the reason that this recession was deeper than it could have been and the recovery is more tepid than it should have been is because the president just doesn't understand that his policies did the exact opposite of what the nation needed. He said he wants to create jobs and create the conditions that will let employers add jobs. But ask yourself this, did promising to raise taxes help create jobs? No. Did uh, Obamacare convince any small business to hire more people? No. If you're an energy intensive business, did cap and trade and talk about higher energy costs or prices cause anybody to add any more jobs? No. Did uh, Dodd-Frank, his financial regulatory reform, cause banks to give out more loans? No. On every dimension you can think of, in this president's first two and a half years in office, the actions he took made it harder for entrepreneurs to build businesses, for banks to loan money, for big businesses to invest in capital and in people. And as a result, the American people are still suffering, and that's why I predict in this place, on this day, that in November of 2012, President Obama will not carry the state of Iowa. And you may say we should just raise everybody's taxes. Do you know what the tax rate would have to be to be able to honor the promises of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid if we just raise taxes and leave the programs as they are? Right now, those programs combined take a payroll tax out of your earnings of 15.3%. That would have to rise to 44%. We're not going to do that. And so, I'm glad you're on Social Security. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. You know what? Well, I get a chance. I can let you speak in a moment. You came here to listen to the people. No, 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 no. I came here to speak, and you'll get to ask a question. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'll let you speak. Hold on a second. Let me speak. Hold on a second. Talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Go ahead. Social Security. Go ahead. We're also on Medicare. Good. It's a, tremendous it's a great program. program. We want to keep them. Right, let's, okay, let's let him finish. Let's let him finch. finish. Let's let him finish. What are you going to do to strengthen Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid without cutting benefits? All right. Let's see. Let's get his answer. Let's get his answer. Okay. Let's. All right. You've had your chance. Anything else you want to say? Well, I'm going to see what you're going to say. Well, I'll tell you, the way this is going to work, the way this is going to work is that you get to ask your question, I get to give my answer. All right. If you don't like my answer, you can vote for someone else. But now it's my turn to give my answer. You ready for my answer? I'm not going to raise taxes. That's my answer. I'm not going to raise taxes. And if you want somebody that can raise taxes, you can vote for Barack Obama. But let me tell you what Barack Obama's doing. Barack Obama is killing this economy. Barack Obama is why 25 million people don't have jobs Wall and can't find green. jobs. And the Wall Street Green! Wall Street Green! By the Wall Street! Wall Street. Okay, next question. We got another question? I gotta give it over here. Yes, sir. You've had your turn, I've had my turn.